bragging. I feel very lucky and very blessed to have had the birthday weekend that I did. Um, I'm literally making this video for the whispers because I know you guys like them. So think of this as like a story time. Just wanted to put that out there. Okay. So the birthday festivities started on Thursday. Actually, Wednesday. I was home and a box showed up at my house. And I was like, it was from Bloomingdale's, but it was addressed to me. I've never shopped at Bloomingdale's a day in my life. So I was like, I don't know what this is. I FaceTimed my mom and I was like, because I know she had something being sent to the house for me. So I was like, did you order something and put my name on it? She was like, no. Um, so I was like, should I open it? Should I not? And she was like, well, it's not for me. So open it. Maybe somebody sent you a gift. So I opened it with my mom on FaceTime and it was from one of my friends from college. Her name is Rachel. Shout out to Rachel. Um, she went home for the summer. She's working remotely and she also got another job over there. So she's a couple hours away. So she couldn't make, you know, my little birthday get together that I had with my friends. Um, and she sent me a gift, which I like texted her. I was like, Rachel, you sent me a gift, you psycho. Like, you didn't have to do that. She sent me a nice, a really nice candle and a nice little black box with a ribbon on it. Um, from Bloomingdale's, which was so nice. And I don't think I've ever had like a gift sent to me like that before. So it was cool. It was like a nice little surprise. I didn't know what it was. I also was like, is it like a YouTube thing? Like, do I have a company sending me something? But I knew I didn't, especially not from Bloomingdale's. So that was really nice. It smells really good. So uh, that was really nice. And then Thursday, like I said, I went to work, went home, napped. And then got up and got ready for dinner Thursday. My boyfriend and I went out for dinner, which was really nice, um, to a restaurant that I, I had been to before more than once. Um, and so that's why I picked it, because I knew I liked it. Um, but I think he had been there before as well. But anyway, um, a nice little Italian place. Let's see, what did we have to eat? Why don't I remember? We didn't get an appetizer, I don't think. I Oh, I got salmon. It was salmon, quinoa, and zucchini. That's what I got, and it was so good. And he got a burger, I believe. Yeah, he got a burger. Food was so good. I had two glasses of wine. He had, I think, like two beers. It was very nice. It was in this cute little city that we both like. Not too far. It was like half an hour from where like we are from and where we grew up so um that was very nice it was very sweet of him to take me out and it, we made a really nice night of it um but it was it was a like an early night which i was, I was very proud of us because i had to be up at 3 a.m the next day so yeah i think i was laying down in bed by 11 11 30 which, yes, I know, it's not, it's not enough sleep, I'm aware, but that's how it went this weekend. So, was up at three, and then um, Friday was my actual birthday, and like I said, I don't mind going to work, especially if I get out at one o'clock in the afternoon, I have the whole day to do whatever, and I knew I was off the next two days too, so it was great, um, and a few of my coworkers did know uh, that it was my birthday. I'm not the type, like, I don't broadcast, like, hey guys, good morning, it's my birthday today, like, that's just not me, so, like, other than the two co-workers that knew, no one else knew, until, like, halfway through, through the morning, um, and it was funny, so after my first full show that I directed that morning, um, how did they find out it was my birthday? I don't even remember. Either someone saw it, either someone saw it on Facebook, or my coworker who knew told people. Because as the day went on, he kind of was like, "Hey guys, it's Sam's birthday. It's Sam's birthday." Like he was like my little my little hype man. Um, so anyway, so after my my first show, I get a message on we use like Microsoft Teams, which is like a 
So, um, eventually after I defrosted, uh, I cut it up, I went and I found like paper plates and a, a knife and uh, utensils for everybody. And it was cute. It felt like a little like fifth grade birthday party, you know, when your mom brings like cupcakes to your class. That's what it felt like. <laughs> um, but it was so cute. And I kind of like forced it because some people didn't want cake and I was like, no, 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 you're gonna have cake. And a lot of people did come and have cake and it was very nice. And then I was able to take the rest home. Uh, and so that was work. So work was very, very, very nice. So yeah, I got out at one and went home, slept, and then I got up, showered, and started getting ready again because I was going to dinner now with my mom, my stepdad, and my boyfriend as well. So, you know, I had to do my hair, all that stuff, so I got up, showered, started getting ready. I was at my dad's family's house, and so my sister and my dad came in, and like my aunt, because they wanted to, of course, see me on my birthday since I was there. And uh, my sister gave me her gift. She gave me a blanket. With, like, it's like a Friends-themed blanket. The show. So it had, like, the, the characters on it. And it said Friends. And it's so soft and comfortable. And then she also <laughs> gave me these little tracker things that I think it, you can get, like, an app on your phone. And you can put it on, like, a suitcase or, like, your wallet or whatever in case you lose things. She got it for me mostly as a joke because of my Miami situation, for those of you who remember that situation. Um, so that was hysterical. I was not expecting that at all. And she's, like, she's young. She's, like, 14. So I was, like, well, that was clever. That was good. Um, so that was funny. And, you know, I was able to hug my dad and everything. Very nice. So then, and I'm celebrating with them on a different day, but my dad and his wife are super busy with work right now, so we're gonna like postpone it a little bit. Um, so anyway, so yes, just able to see them. Went out to dinner to a place that my mom found that I had never heard of. I think it, it was Italian again. Everybody knows I like Italian food, I guess. Um, and it was a really, really nice dinner. I had chicken scupper yellow. I think I said that right. Um, and my stepdad had like a pasta dish. My boyfriend had veal, I think. And then I think my mom got the same thing that I did. I tried a coconut martini for the first time. It had like Malibu rum and other things that I don't remember. It was pretty good, but I only had one. Two would have kind of messed up my stomach. It was very thick. It kind of reminded me of like a pina colada, sort of. It was good, though. And then I just had a glass of wine after that. And it was very nice. Um, we, my, she actually, she gave me this ring. I'll see if I can like focus it for you. Um, yeah. So she gave me that ring. And it's a... Uh, Ruby, which is my birthstone. Um, so that was really nice. And, um, I have to, while I'm on the subject, my boyfriend gave me this necklace as well, but, uh, I can't shout out this ring without shouting this out since I'm wearing both, so. Um, but both are beautiful. I'm obsessed with both. And it was really, really nice of them. I told my mom, like, dinner would have been enough. Um, but this was from my mom and my stepdad which is very, very nice. I love it. It's like dainty. It's very me. Very simple, small. Um, and then we went outside because the restaurant had like a nice little light display in front of this fountain pond that they had. So we took the pictures. It was very nice. And then after that, um, it was still my birthday and it was a Friday and I didn't have to work Saturday morning. Normally, I can't really go out on Fridays because I have work so early the next day. So my boyfriend and I were like, we want to take advantage. So we went out to this strip of bars that we know that I, like, I went to all throughout college and he went to a couple of times as well when he was in college. It's a whole strip of like a bunch of bars and you can like bar hop and stuff. And it was really fun. He and I had never, like we've obviously, we've gone out with people, but that was the first time he and I went out in like a night 
light setting environment, just us two. And it was fun. We went to two bars. The first one was, we were there for, I'd say, maybe like an hour, a little bit more. And then uh, it was like, it was, it was too crowded. It was too crowded. I'm used to it. like I had been there to that bar before pre pre COVID like years ago, so I was kind of used to it being packed. But I don't know. It had, been, it had been a while since we were in a bar that was that packed, and it kind of just became too much. Um, maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. But uh, so then we went next door to another bar. Um, that was oh my god, it was so much better. There was room to like walk and breathe. And their drinks are better too. Like we low-key should have gone there first, but it's fine. Um, it was fun. We had one more drink. We danced a little bit, and they closed at two, which 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 we didn't know. We they thought that we thought that they closed at three, but they closed at two, which was fine because we scheduled an Uber to come pick us up at two. Anyway, um, and so it was perfect. So yeah, we went to the bathroom, came back up. And the lights were on, and we were like, oh, perfect, we're leaving anyway. Um, and so that was that night, so that was a fun night for me. I got to take advantage of the fact that I didn't have to wake up early the next day. Loved that for me. And then Saturday, what did we do? Oh, we went to this little um, beach pool club that our families uh, belong to. It just coincidentally happened a couple years ago that uh, my family's been going there for a long time. His family joined a couple years ago, coincidentally. So that's convenient. And uh, we went and hung out with his parents and my mom and my stepdad. Hung out by the pool, um, ate a little bit, like little things like chips and hummus and guac and uh, little sandwiches and things like that sat by the pool, got a little bit of sun, although right now I look like I have no sun at all, but I have little tan lines, I got a little something, and um, we left, he and I left around like three, because we had to get ready, because that night we were celebrating with my friends in uh, the city, and so we went, we got ready, you know, hair, makeup, all that. Uh, and he got to see the process of how I get myself ready on a daily basis. So that was kind of funny. Like, you know, he saw me put the eyebrows on, like, the whole, the whole thing. Um, and then, yeah, we grabbed some dinner, uh, like, on the go. Like, grabbed it and, and took it back. And then made our way eventually to meet the rest of my friends. It was a group of... 17 of us, I think. So it was like, I'm not even going to count, but a good number of friends from college. Uh, one of my best friends from church that I've grown up with, she came, and my friends from high school, and then, you know, my friends, if they had significant others, had them bring them as well. And it was just, it was fun. It was in a little restaurant bar lounge that I had been to before, and they had a little side room that was like a little mini bar and that was like purely just for hanging out and, and drinking no food you know nothing so we had we stood around had some drinks took really nice pictures one of which is posted on my instagram um for those of you that follow me on instagram you've seen it already if you want to follow my instagram it's just soft asmr um but yeah it was very nice and then by like midnight we moved to a different spot which was low-key kind of a headache um but it was it turned out to be really fun it poured that night so we all got rained on my hair was shot but you know i was like you know what pictures have been taken already i don't care at this point um but it definitely was wild to see like this was my first time going like out 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 where things felt completely normal, like normal capacity, no restrictions, like it was kind of weird, but also kind of nice, um, and we had fun, we danced, and just kind of enjoyed each other's company, all of us, I think we were there until three, and then we made our way home, and then, uh, the next morning was Sunday, and I wanted to get up, go to church because again I work
work every weekend, so I haven't been able to go to a church service in a year and a half, because that's when I started working full-time with this schedule. And I miss it. I miss, like, my church family. I miss sitting and, like, having praise and worship. I miss listening to my pastor speak and, you know. Um, so that's what I wanted. And, uh, my boyfriend and I were like, we're gonna be dead, but I was like, we're going. We're going. And we did, and we went, and it was, it was so worth it. It was worth, like, not sleeping a lot. And, um, yeah, it was just, it was like, if we grew up in the church, I've been going there since I was 13, turning 14. It's like 11 years, and he's been going there for longer. I think he was like, I don't know how old he was, but a long time he's been going there. Um, so it's like home for us, you know, like that's no matter what, like that'll always feel like our home church. And so we got to, you know, see people that we used to see, like, a weekly basis, like twice a week sometimes. We would see them most of the time actually growing up. And most of them I haven't seen in so long, so it was, it was very nice to go back and, you know, it just felt normal, felt like home. Um, and then we hung out there for quite a bit afterwards, just, you know, catching up with everybody, because of course everyone hasn't seen us for a while, and so they want to know what we're up to, and you know, we were asking other people how they've been, you know, just catching up. It was very nice. It was very, very nice. Um, and then after that, um, we had a little lunch because we were starving. We hadn't eaten that whole day until like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And you know me, like, I need to eat. So, that was like first thing on the agenda after church. And then afterwards, this isn't birthday related at all, but my friend Joanna, if you guys remember her from a couple videos that she's been in, she's getting married next year. And so we had her first dress, uh, not the fitting, but first like try on, first time trying on wedding dresses. And I think she tried on maybe like nine or ten. She tried on a lot. And she picked one, which I didn't think she was going to pick one. But she's also very simple, like she knows what she likes. And she found one that, oh my god, it's gorgeous. It has a beautiful train and her veil is super long oh my god it's just like we all kind of cried which we were like yeah if we all cried like that's the dress she cried a little bit it was beautiful and it was quick i think we were there for like an hour and a half uh we timed it after an hour and 10 minutes into the appointment is when she she picked the dress and she took our picture with the little sign that says i said yes to the dress and it well it was just it was beautiful. So, um, Kathy and I, Kathy has also been in videos. Kathy did a video where she did my makeup. This was like two years ago, but if you guys remember them, Kathy and I are maids, maids of honor. Um, so that's exciting. Scary, but exciting. And so next on the agenda, we got to do, uh, bridesmaids dresses. She just got to like pick her color and then we're all gonna, we're gonna all gonna get different dresses, but the same exact color. Um, so that'll be next, probably. And so that was really fun. They all kind of went out to eat afterwards, but I couldn't because I had work super early the next day. And the wedding dress place was like 10 minutes from my house. So it didn't make sense to go all the way back to where we used to live, which is like close to an hour, to then come all the way back home if I was only 10 minutes away, you know, and I had to be up at 2 or 3 the next morning. So. It just made sense to go back home. And then I got home and I knew my mom's side of the family, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, they were going to come over and kind of do a little birthday celebration with me, which was their idea. I, I didn't ask for it, but it was super sweet. And I got here, I got home, and all their cars were in the driveway, so I was like, dang, all right. That was Maya, I'm sorry. I was like, dang, everybody's here already. All right. Um, and... It was funny, I walked in with like all my bags and um, they all like jumped out and they were like surprised. And it was funny, it was sweet, but I was like, your cars are in the driveway. <laughs> I also knew you were coming, but it was cute. I think they were just trying to be funny. Um, 
um, it was really nice, and, uh, I immediately, honestly, I went upstairs and put, like, pajamas on, <laughs> I put a sweatshirt on and, like, gym shorts, because I just wanted to be comfortable, and then came back down, we had just, like, barbecue food, you know, on the grill, and, like, salad and stuff, uh, hung out, hung out with my cousin, caught up with her, and then eventually we had, like, a little cake, which, like, homemade box cake, which I actually like better than, like, a bake, a cake from, like, a bakery, um, like, plain, like, yellow cake, chocolate frosting, super simple, that's my favorite, um, that's what we did, so they sang, <laughs> um, and it was just, it was really nice, and then they left by, like, nine, and then I had work the next day, because I remember said I worked yesterday, so I had to be up at, I woke up at four, four yesterday, and yeah, went to work, and it was yesterday, it was a super, like, uneventful day at work, it kind of dragged a little bit, um, but yeah, everybody was very nice, asking me, like, how my birthday was, because I, they, they saw that I was off all weekend, and my, two of my coworkers, poor things, had to cover for me, and so they had to come in at 5 a.m., on a Saturday because they were a little short-staffed, so they both had to work six to eight weeks, which I, I felt so bad, but at the same time, as much as I feel bad, everyone's entitled to take their time off, you know, and it was my birthday, so I, you know, they were cool, they were cool with it, they were more than gracious, one of them was the co-worker that brought me a cake, which was very nice, um, and yeah, people that I work with on the weekends, they like found me and they were like, good birthday weekend, and I was like, yes, I wasn't here, so yes, it was a good birthday weekend, um, and it really was, it really, really was, yesterday after work, this wasn't birthday related, it just kind of fell around my birthday, coincidentally, yesterday my mom and I went to get massages, she goes once a month, she has like a membership that she pays, she goes once a month and gets a nice, uh, little massage, but what happens is if you miss one, like one month you miss one then it rolls over and then the following month you have two so she was like do you want to take the second one well, all right and so after work yesterday we went and got massages um is it a swedish massage i think like full body hour long you lay on like a heated table under a blanket and they use like oil and stuff i'm not a huge fan of massages i never have been I like, like, when she massaged, like, she massaged, like, my legs and my arms and, like, my hands and my feet and my head, which that was a first for me. That felt good. But, like, shoulder, neck area, just because I'm very ticklish, and it just, like, it, like, it makes me laugh. Like, it's just not relaxing to me at all. It's just not my thing. Um, but the lower half was nice. Um, she's a very sweet girl. Um, and then after the massages... Uh, what did we do? We went out to dinner. We went to, a, like, a little pub, like, American-style, uh, place, and we each got a drink. I got a, it was called Mermaid Rum Punch, is what I had, and I had a salad, a Caesar salad with shrimp, and my mom got a cob salad and some martini that she tried, and it was nice. My mom and I don't really go out ever, just us two. It's usually, like, us two and, like, my stepdad, you know, so it was nice. Um, and then I literally, I came straight home. I went straight into the shower and got straight into bed. I was so tired, um, because I didn't get my nap. <laughs> I like to nap for the middle of the day, so. Um, I went, yeah, I went straight to sleep, and that was it. So today, after I filmed this video, I actually am kind of, kind of close, because I'm, supposed to leave my house in six minutes, which isn't happening. Sorry, Zia. Um, I'm going to meet my aunt, Zia. Zia is aunt in Italian. That's what I call her. She wants to, like, take me out for, like, a little brunch, even though it's a Tuesday, and the place we're going to doesn't actually have a brunch, but I've been there before, and I knew she would like it, so I was like, yeah, we can go there. So, she's very excited about it. She also, she, her and I never just go out to eat, just us two. So, it's very sweet. I feel very, very... <laughs> very, very lucky and very, very blessed. Look who has joined us. <laughs> um, so that's what I have to go do. So 
have to go drive an hour to her house right now. She said to be there around 12.30. It's 11.25. <laughs> I'm supposed to leave in five minutes and I still have to pack a bag because I'm sleeping there. So, but it's okay. I wanted to make this video around 40, 40 minutes or so, so, you know, it's alright. I get there when I get there. We didn't make a reservation just because it's a Tuesday afternoon and I feel like we'll be fine. So, we'll be alright. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I still have to like figure out when to celebrate with my dad and stuff, but at least I got to see him on my actual birthday, which was nice. Um, yeah, my family's very big, in case you couldn't tell, my family's very big on like birthdays, <laughs> birthdays and holidays, which is great, which is nice, I love it. They are like, any, any excuse to like celebrate something, like they're down. <clears throat> So, um, so yeah, so that was all the birthday stuff, so again, I feel very, very lucky, very, very blessed, you guys are freaking crazy, I don't know how some of you remember, I did make the video about, like, 25 things I learned in 25 years, but even, like, last year, before I even said anything, like, some of you actually remember when my birthday is, which blows my mind how you remember that. Um, and it's very sweet, and there was an overwhelming amount of messages on Instagram that I just couldn't get through. I would have to sit there for, like, a good three hours, probably, and just answer everybody. I just, I haven't had an opportunity yet. Um, so if I didn't respond to a birthday message that you sent me, just know that I probably saw it because I went through and I scrolled even though I didn't open all of them and I was like so overwhelmed and so that's why when I posted that picture on my Instagram I wrote like thank you so much for all of the birthday messages and well wishes and a lot of you have the same birthday as me which I think is cool it's like uh, my birthday twin you know it was very very sweet and I appreciate it more than you guys know and just like between you guys and like I hate saying like real life but you know what I mean like people in my life um I was overwhelmed with with love and, and gratitude and I just feel very happy and very blessed where I am right now um I know I keep saying it but hopefully making moves soon to get my own place I like started the steps but the realtor that I've been trying to work with is just like not cooperating with me and not getting back to me, so I may have to find an alternate way of doing things because I'm ready. I just need her to do it with me, so I may have to go through someone else or something. Um, but anyway, so that'll be happening soon, and I can't wait to take you guys on that journey with me. Um, and yeah, I have to get three more videos done this week because... I am actually going on vacation next week to uh, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. So I'll be gone on my normal filming day, so I gotta get everything squared away so that I leave you guys with videos for next week. So, gotta do that. Um, but obviously I can't do that today, so I'll come home tomorrow and I'll, um, I'll finish filming everything. But yeah! So that's what's going on. Everything is great. Um, the girl is very happy and feels very thankful and, and blessed for all of you and people in my life. And things are good. I hope that you all are doing just as well, if not better, because you guys deserve it. And thank you for listening to me ramble for the past 40 minutes. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you can tell a difference in the audio and the gain, let me know. Tell me if you hate it or if you like it. Maybe it's not even that big of a difference. I don't know. But, uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs>